For detecting compressed air or other gas leaks, it is recommended to use the Zona phone in combination with the Zono Sport in order to identify the approximate location of ultrasound sources. In environments with distracting ambient noises, the use of headphones is practical. The Zonaphone models R, RD and K always operate with a preset frequency of 40 kHz, which is recommended for this application. Models M and E can be tuned manually to the desired frequency of, in this case, 40 kHz. Turn the device on by pressing the on-off button. The main menu opens up by pressing F3. By turning the control knob you go to test parameter. Now press the control knob to reach the sub-menu. Go to mixer frequency and press the control knob to confirm your choice. Now turn the frequency to 40 kHz, which is optimal for leak detection, and press F1 two times to leave the sub-menu. Back in the main menu, press F3 to get to the testing screen. Now you are all set and ready. Let's go! Familiarize yourself with the testing environment. Locate all compressed air installations and possible sources of ambient noises which could influence your inspection. Observe and listen to the signals. A hissing sound or increased values on the display of the Zona phone indicate ultrasound noises which are most likely generated by leaks in the compressed air or gas system. Via the control knob you can control the signal volume. Scan left and right, up and down to locate a potential leak area. Depending on the Zona phone you are using, watch the display values or bar graph increase or decrease as you scan. Simultaneously listen to the sound getting louder or fainter as you scan. Follow the sound and identify the approximate leak source with the integrated red dot sight or the laser pointer. Once you get closer to the leak, change the equipment to locate the exact source precisely. By scanning the leak area, with an airborne probe, the leak location is narrowed down further. Again, scan left and right, up and down, and watch the display values or bar graph increase or decrease as you scan. Simultaneously, listen to the sound getting louder or fainter as you scan. The exact source of the leak can finally be determined by using the directional tube with tip. 